Hi everyone, Sri Lanka. Welcome back to my channel guys, Adam Burwell. And if it's your first time, please consider subscribing below. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. So thank you so much for supporting all my contents like, you know, for the past year or so. And as you can see in the title of this particular video, we'll be reacting to Sri Lanka's success story against the current pandemic the world is facing right now. I know you have been requesting this for quite a long time. My apologies for, you know, for being so late in reacting to it. Also, guys, I can see that this is actually quite a long video, so I don't know if I may be dividing this reaction into two parts, but we'll just see how it goes, okay? I'll be putting the link of this uh, video on the pinned comment or on the description box so you can check it out for yourself, all right? So... Please follow me on all my social media at Adam Burwell. That's where most of you send all your uh, requests of the videos for me to react to. So with that being said, let's start this reaction. All right, there it is. It's your flag. Spots. I think I have, I saw this uh, on all my past uh, tourism Sri Lanka reaction videos as well. Sri Lanka, an inspiring COVID-19 success story. This is the story of an island nation that is well known for its golden beaches. Beautiful. World-renowned Ceylon tea. Mesmerizing waterfalls. Oh, that waterfall stuff. That is just absolutely stunning. And home to the first female prime minister of the world. Yep, I know that. What defines its people is their amazing resilience to endure great calamities and defy all odds to rise again to glory. A country that was once battered by a 30-year-old civil war and devastated by a tsunami oh, wow. could not hold down its potential to become the best tourist destination for 2020 when the deadly coronavirus unleashed havoc at the prime of its potential. Now that we have heard... All There's the Lotus Tower. I can see it. Um, some of you told me on my... Reaction to Colombo versus Phnom Penh. You, you told me that that is what we call the you call the Lotus Tower. It's absolutely magnificent. All the things that Sri Lanka is famous for. It's time to understand the secret recipe behind the COVID success story of this island nation. Sri Lanka has had only 91 cases per 1 million population. What? 11 COVID-19 deaths and absolutely no cases in the community for over two months since 30th April 2020. It went from this to this and came back to this. All of this took place while maintaining one of the most impressive disease mitigation records globally. This is the story of how we did it, with a GDP for health of only 3.81% and a population of 21 million. Oh, wow. So, how was Sri Lanka so successful in its containment of the pandemic? Let's look at the contributing players and factors in this remarkable story. first report of what we now know as COVID-19 came to the world's attention on December 31st, 2019. Sri Lanka was very quick to act on this information and subsequent circulating rumors. The Ministry of Health with relevant stakeholders immediately identified the need for risk communication, rumor monitoring and mitigation, and readiness for the imminent epidemic. Okay, so you really were not pre um, taking it lightly. You prepared 
ahead of time. I guess that is the key um, element to you know to the success. I guess. The influenza steering committee where global health issues are discussed, organized by the Epidemiology Unit of the Health Ministry, along with the Health Promotion Bureau, discussed the ongoing epidemic and preparedness plan on the 9th of January, 2020. A presidential task force was speedily appointed during the last week of January, 2020, with multi-sectorial involvement and stakeholders identified at all levels. A national COVID center was established and streamlined activities to 10 committees. The direct That's really, really a good job for your government, guys. That you created sort of a special um, commission or a task force to battle the inevitable. I guess it's always to be, it's always better to be over prepared than be under prepared, you know, if that makes sense. The general of WHO declared the outbreak of COVID-19 a public health emergency mm -hmm. and subsequently a pandemic in early March. By then, Sri Lanka was on full alert with counteractive measures already in place. By the time the first local patient was found positive on 9 March 2020, regular press releases from the Ministry of Health and identified key spokespersons began very early. This builds trust of the general public, of the government information sources, and communicated the real situation. Early emergency preparedness with strong political commitment and support by health, tri forces, and the media went a long way in Sri Lanka's favor in winning the battle against COVID-19. Yeah, I guess what also separates, you know, the what how you tackled it is that i guess your government was really transparent and has like a solid um solid uh, what do you call this solid um response uh to it not like i said not really taking it lightly and just preparing for the you know preparing for the worst um it could be you know the philippines could learn from it um we have been like just taking it sort of easy peasy, you know, it's just a little virus or something like that up until we get to a point that it has like grown in a lot of, you know, huge uh, proportions where there's a lot of um, infected uh, already. So, you know, good job with the government with that, guys. Mechanism to safeguard all ports of entry against the import of COVID-19 were in place. The quarantine unit of the Ministry of Health had a vital role in this. The information was disseminated in all three local languages and in Chinese, as the epicenter of the disease was China, with many Chinese arriving in Sri Lanka for tourism and employment. A surveillance system and contact tracing mechanism was established linking ports of entries, the epidemiology unit of the Ministry of Health, and provincial health authorities. Grassroot level public health staff worked around the clock with quarantine and contact tracing. Health services were easily accessible and just a phone call away from medical officers of health teams who delivered very efficient, personalized service. Wow, that is really, really good and efficient. Quarantine and contact tracing were so successful that there were ultimately only six main clusters in Sri Lanka. The Disaster Management Center also had a vital role in COVID-19 management. A very strong quarantine and contact tracing mechanism was a prime factor in our success story. Travelers arriving from high-risk countries were quarantined on arrival in special centers for two weeks while home quarantine was allowed for other arrivals. But as the epidemic reached pandemic heights, with borders closing globally, all arrivals were immediately taken to special quarantine centers. Services were provided completely free of charge to those in quarantine centers, 
with gratifying hospitality and humanity show. Yeah, I think for most countries, even here in the Philippines, this is the current pra practice as well. Um, of course, at the end of the day, um, it will need a lot of cooperation from the public or from the people as well. I mean, of course, our government can only do so, so much. But at the same time, the government should have like the, an initial plan of action against this, you know, this current pandemic. The numbers of quarantine centers and persons quarantined increased, with momentum being kept up by health staff and tri forces. Okay, I guess let's just maybe stop here, guys. Identification of key hospitals, because, like I said, it's a really, really, it's quite a long uh, video, and if you want me to continue with the part two, although I maybe have, uh, I don't know, maybe some more, not really ideas, but I have a, an idea on what is going to, you know, to be on the next uh, slides. Um, the thing here though is that I have uh, reacted to Malaysia's success story video as well against the pandemic or against COVID-19 COVID and um, pretty much you have the same, you have laid on the same platforms uh, against uh, to it, and they are also really, really successful. Um, whereas here in my country, the Philippines, we are still fighting uh, against it. To be honest, I really don't know if we are winning, but here, at least here, in the city where I'm from, um, it's we have like much lower uh, rates already compared to the capital city. Um, I live like in a city which is basically in the center of the Philippines as you all know our country We have a lot of islands over 7,000 islands um, With you with Sri Lanka. I know that you I think you're just like one island if, You know if I'm not mistaken, right? Anyway guys if you want me to continue uh, Reacting to this video, please let me know below in the comments and again good job to all of you the government and of course the people of Sri Lanka um, I do consider you really, really special in my heart because you have been supporting me for um, the past five or six months already. And I truly, truly appreciate you all. And stay safe and stay healthy, everyone. Bye.